as well to be at their best. On the counter-attack with Ronaldo, they can be very effective, but Sweden have to come out, they have to take more risks than they did in the first game. That should mean a much more open game, but it's going to be very nervy. Can be very... party begins brilliantly in the first quarter of the game and took the lead and stole the second somewhat against the run of players Germany got control how do you see it how would you go at it if you were in their shoes Andy I think from Sweden's point of view they have to strike a balance between of course goal, maybe in the first 20 minutes or so but you can't take too many risks if they do this training on Sunday as did Cristiano Ronaldo, actually. Straight forward for Rizekson. And even though we felt it was a pretty accidental contact with uh, Johan Almanda at a point of his body where he's not used to it. Ronaldo. Miguel Veloso put in that wonderful... Oh, yesterday, we were rather aghast at the temperatures when they trained here. Here's Ronaldo. Well, he's saying, where were you? In terms of the support, the targets to aim for, his teammates, but I'm not sure what he's actually trying to do here, but this is where Portugal can really threaten. They win the ball back fairly cheaply. And the one thing you don't want as a defender is to be isolated one-on-one -on -one with Ronaldo, but is it a cross, is it a shot? Hard to really say, but he certainly flaps his arms around, blames everybody else, but I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. Which effects on the game in, in an attacking sense. And Larson's giving it away. Hugo Almeida, Ronaldo's on the charge. And cut off at the pass by Per Nielsen. This really is a nightmare. You see how quick Ronaldo is moving. Nielsen, see his balance. And this tie given some rather rocky performances at times on the way to this stage. And up to the task so far. Ronaldo. Rasmus Elm stepped in. I thought that Cristiano Ronaldo might have had a free kick there. We do this, see this on occasion with Ronaldo. He is theatrical at time. Well, they do have a corner. <laughs> One up goes Ronaldo. But wide it goes. We saw in the first leg how threatening Ronaldo can be in the air. At times he's jumped well, but he's under severe pressure. And he's just on the way down as he makes a contact with the ball, just the timing of the jump. Larson. Here's Veloso. And Thompson. João Pereira. Decent first touch. Some space has opened up. Oh. And Isaacson hangs on. Not the most powerful shot that Ronaldo has ever struck. You know he's more than capable on left or right foot of beating goalkeepers from this range, but it's good positioning again from Isaacson. Six foot six this week, they're losing possession quickly. So Portugal are breaking and getting players in space. Nani ducked underneath it. Ronaldo coming in. Beating the ground in frustration, it would have been some goal had it hit the target. And the chances just keep coming, but this is a very, very difficult opportunity, even for a world-class footballer. It's the way it just skips up off the surface, you've got a time you run, you're moving at pace onto the ball. You're under some pressure as well from Lustig, trying to keep this down is the, is the big job you've got on. And for a player of his ability, he'll be disappointed he's not hit the target. On that far side with Elmander. I think Almanda actually got clattered as Pepe cleared his lines. Well, Ronaldo's in behind here, and that spells danger. Almeida's up there with him! Oh! And he cannot... Obviously, because Almanda had been down for a long, long time, I think Sweden were looking for Portugal to put the ball out of play. Saying that Sweden had possession and didn't put the ball out of play themselves. But the danger is always there, and here's Moutinho. 
On for Nani. Ronaldo coming near post. Here he is. Swedish point of view. It's a fabulous attack. I just wonder whether Ronaldo's gone over on his ankle here, but. The thing about world-class footballers is their movement off the ball. The way Ronaldo finds space here for Nani to find him. Just watch his movement. It's quite brilliant. He realises where the space is, gets into it. Oh, certainly off balance. I just wonder whether he's just rocked over on one of his ankles. Maybe his standing foot as he takes this strike on. The last player that Portugal want to lose is that man. His defence and might only be a half chance. Ibrahimovic, like Ronaldo, down the other end, he'd be disappointed. He's not precious little from that point of view for Sweden. Portugal certainly is able to turn, quite able to pick a pass. But this is Fabio Quentrao, might pick a way through. Ronaldo and Isaacson is there again. That's a brilliant save in the end from Isaacson. The offside flag had already gone up. It's a really good line, actually, that Sweden are holding here to catch. Ronaldo and Almeida offside. I thought the net was going to bulge here, but even if it's with a header. Oh, what a beautiful ball! Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo with a chance maybe to seal it, and he has taken it. They're one step closer to Brazil, thanks to Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, it's a fabulous forward ball, but as soon as Ronaldo takes his first touch here, you pretty much know what is going to happen because in world football in front of goal this man is absolutely devastating and as the game started to open up Sweden had a great chance to score the opening goal but straight down the other end Ronaldo well he just doesn't pass up chances like this and Isaacson absolutely no chance of stopping it well, devastating in more ways than one at the moment that kills the Swedish dream. And once he takes that first touch and gets the ball out of his feet, you can see his balance, he's upright, he's had a quick look to see where the, the keeper is. He knows exactly what he wants to do. Yes, he's going to replace him. Oh, the inevitable outcome, really. Written his name all over this match. Antonsa. Ronaldo. Raul Morales. Ronaldo. Team on. It is Ibrahimovic. Not everybody who was in the box, and Ronaldo will pick up the pieces here for Portugal. Justin thought he had more time than he actually had. Cristiano Ronaldo, the man who's made the difference in both legs, and he was nearing full pelt there. Howard Webb. Felt there was no case for a free kick. And there's certainly a case against Nani here, and he's going to get a booking. He just overran it slightly and seemed to me to throw himself to ground, not necessarily be fouled, certainly bumped. However, oh, made the decision. Well, they're not happy, of course. João Moutinho. Behind that Swedish central midfield there. It's Ronaldo. Oh, that's beautiful. And Tunes, can he get there? So another aspect of Ronaldo's game, the way he can pick out on rushing teammates. He is unselfish at times. We know the ability he has with the ball at his feet. He loves to dip inside and get shots away. How about that for a bit of brilliance? And Anders Svensson has to be careful. He's been booked. He certainly catches Ronaldo there, leaves a little bit on him. He doesn't need to. Ran a risk there, Anders Svensson. For Portugal. Just stick back in there, it's Bruno Alves this time. And he's found his way through the challenge. You know who. If he gets past the wall, 
It's past the keeper before Patricio can even blink. And the run... That din, William Carvalho has come on, the 21-year-old for Sporting. Welcome to international football, it's his first cap. Strum, will it break for him? Elmander's battling. And now Ronaldo. Now Howard Webb. This is why we love this game, because in the space of once of getting a shot away, a clip of the heels for Ronaldo, and that's why he's gone down injured. Hello, sir. Hugo Almeida. Not going up against him. And Grimace of Pep. And Carvalho blocking the road. But now it's Ronaldo who can break again. And can he kill the Swedish dream? He has done, surely. Well, when he's around, you've always got a chance. And he's once again leading the personal battle. He may just have finally led Portugal to the World Cup finals. They could well have broken Swedish hearts here because they'd, in the last 10 minutes or so, turned the game on its head. But there's one player on the pitch out there that can turn the course of a game, change the complexion of a match, and it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Absolutely devastating again on the counter attack. The ball is played out to him. It's a really good ball from Hugo Almeida. Times the, the pass perfectly. It's not an easy ball to take under your spell. And then to thrash past the goalkeeper. But Ronaldo, once again, his balance, he knows exactly what he wants to do. He's not rushed, he's not hurried. He makes his mind up quickly. He covers the ground so quickly as well. Composes himself beautifully and absolutely buries it. Once more, it's two goals they need. But... It's a chance for Ronaldo again, hat-trick! He has written his name all over this tie, and there is no doubt now, he's paved their path to Rio. It's absolutely incredible, his movement, his first touch, couple of defenders to deal with. You know, Nani. Well, there may be more for them here. João Pereira. Ronaldo again! Well, he's not finished for the night. This is inches wide, I just think when you strike this with your right foot from this type of distance, it's always going to slightly curve away. You see, fantastic finishing of Cristiano Ronaldo, whether it be right foot, left foot, just his pace, his balance, his composure. At times he's simply unstoppable. will be followed by Atletico Madrid against Getafe. Couldn't react. Made him very quickly in fairness, but that's a lovely touch by Ronaldo. What a performance he's produced tonight. And he might just cap it all with another stunning moment. The real touches of genius from Cristiano Ronaldo, and that another one there, just the way he dinks that ball around the corner, and then he's off again. Using that pace and that direct running. We know he's not afraid to strike a goal. I don't think the Parisians will mind too much. Here's Ronaldo. Oh. Well, there's nothing, almost nothing beyond this man. What's amazing here is he, he misses, but how high he gets off the ground just to control this ball. He has to be there on the big stage again, second time in succession. Here's for the Swedish chance to at least avoid defeat on the night. They met with so much in the way of dogged resistance in the first. Irrepressible, irreplaceable, a rampant Ronaldo has delivered.